professional tradesmen are way too polite when it comes to getting paid money that they are owed. And when a client is not paying him or not paying him on time, the one thing that the business owner wants to know is, is this guy messing me about or is he just busy doing different things? And the way to figure that out is to bring a massive amount of urgency into the equation. How are we going to handle it? What you need to do is, there's three things here, three P's, professional, polite, priority. We can even try the fourth one in, persistence. If an invoice gets issued a month after the job has been finished, you can't expect the client to pay it straight away. What you should do when it comes to issuing invoices to clients is you should tell them in advance, I'm gonna send you an invoice on Friday. And when you let them know when the invoice is coming in, you also say to them, look, when I send that to you on Friday, is there any chance you could tackle that for me on Friday? I'm just under a bit of pressure to get a few quid in here, right? So rather than leaving it for a month and sending in the invoice, you're actually telling them a couple of days in advance, while the job is ongoing, we're gonna be finished here on Friday, I'm gonna send you the invoice on Friday, so are we okay to get paid there on Friday? And you can judge their reaction, whether you're gonna get paid Friday or not. Before you actually send the invoice, you ring them. Hey, Mr. And Mrs. Client, I'm sending you this invoice now. It's gone to your email, it's gone to your WhatsApp. Can I take two minutes of your time and just go through it with you? So there it is, da 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 It's all the stuff you pre-agreed with. So uh, are you happy enough with that? Yeah, brilliant. I hope you don't mind me just double checking with you, but is there any chance you could get to pay that invoice for us today? If you're doing B2C, business to consumer, or B2B, there'll be a slightly different process that you need to go through. And we'll talk about the B2C here, right? So you're ringing the client, you're letting them know. Yeah, that's grand, I'll get that done. Brilliant. Can I just just ask you, who do you bank with? I bank with AIB. Oh, sure, that's brilliant because I'm with AIB myself. So the minute you send it through, it'll be there right away. Or if they say that they bank with AIB and you're with a different bank and it's going to take a day or two to go through, fine, that's no problem. You wouldn't mind doing me a favor. It's just I owe a few quid out. Would you just send me a screenshot of when the payment is made? Because once you send me the screenshot, I'll then ring my contractors who are owed money and I'll tell them that the money's on the way to me and I'll be able to send it to them. You're not saying, look, where's my fucking money? I need to get paid. No, you're politely giving a priority, right? It's so important if they say to you look i'm busy now okay no problem sure listen i'll give you a bell back at the end of the day you give me a bell back at the end of the day he may have another excuse for you should i give you a shout then tomorrow morning you can let me know how you're fixed if the client is going to mess you about you will know the client doesn't believe they're messing you about the client believes i don't owe him that money do not let them off the hook do not let them get back to you in a week's time every single time you have an interaction with the client you need to decide what's the logical next step so yeah have a call you book the next call. You need to keep this so high in your eyes in terms of priority that if you don't keep it there, you need to understand the chances of you getting paid in full are gonna get diminished as time goes on. It's rarely that you get paid nothing, but most times they're gonna try and negotiate. The other thing is, if you're working business to business and it's like, I'll oh, send that in and it'll go to the office and you're dealing with Johnny and Johnny will say, yeah, look, I'm gonna send that to Mary for payment. That's brilliant. Ring Mary. Mary, how you doing? Johnny said he was gonna send you an invoice for payment. I just wanna make sure that you've got that do you need any further information from me or are you okay with that no no that's grand he actually hasn't said it to me yet okay no problem well look at you might give him a shout and let him know so now he's told you he's going to say it to mary the accounts person mary hasn't been told so now you need to revert back right so keep this so urgent that it's not worthwhile for the company or the client to try and give you the slip my advice to yourself at all times keep it top of your priority and keep it top of their priority let them know you're not going away let them know they're not going to get two weeks to decide whether that you want to pay or not because they're just coming up with spiels and they're just coming up with reasons to avoid paying you but do not under any circumstances especially at this stage of the game raise your voice and do not use any foul language at all whatsoever because all they need to do is say oh she's getting abusive to me i'm not dealing with him i'll get someone else. I'll, I'll get my solicitor to deal with it and then the book is closed right so be very very careful persistent professional extremely polite and keep it as your utmost priority